they auto expense. Now expenses are only go one way. They're on the income statement and they have debit balances. So expenses only go one way. They have debit balances. We're going to make it go up by doing the same thing to it, which in this case would be another debit. So I'm going to copy the expense. That's going to go on top. It's going to be a debit for, in this case, we paid 320. Why is it an expense when the last one was an asset for supplies? Because the auto expense is something that we've already consumed. If we pay for an oil change or something like that, we're assuming that we consumed the oil change in the past. Therefore, it, uh, it's, we're going to expense it at this point in time rather than record it as an asset and expense it as we use it. So then I'm going to say negative of this number just to put in a negative 350, I mean 320. And that will, you could just type it in there as a negative 320, but we need a negative 320 there. Then the question is, what are we going to post to it? And we didn't pay with cash. We paid with a account payable. And then again, the only question was, which way do we go? Do we debit or credit it? We know that we credit it now because we debited the auto expense. Does that make sense? Well, accounts payable has a credit balance and we are making it go up because the bad thing is going up. How do we make something go up? We do the same thing to it, which in this case would be another credit. So that makes sense. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it one, two, three in C12. Then we can post that out. So I can go to auto expense down here in H14 equals, and then we're going to point to that 320. That's going to put us out of balance. We're going to bring expense up. We're going to bring net income down. So notice that brought net income down, which is the revenue minus the expense of the 320. We have income of 49680. This minus this 49680. Then we're going to post the other side. I'm going to double click on the accounts payable in H8. Go to the end of it. We can see what's in there at this point in time. Plus, and we're going to point to the 320. That's going to bring the liability up. Then we can see what happens to our accounting equation. So if I delete this, we can say, okay, what happens to assets? It's at 50. If I undo, it's still at 50. Why? Because we paid for something on account and it's an expense this time, not an asset. So we're going to say, okay, so no effect there. How about liabilities? I'm going to delete it. We're at zero. And then if I undo it, it goes up to 20, 320. And so it has increased in this case. So an increase to liability. Of course, it's a credit down here. It's a positive number there. And then what happens to equity? Well, if this increased and nothing happened here, this has got to decrease in order for our accounting equation to remain in balance. We can double check that by saying, okay, we're at 50 and undo. It goes to it goes to 49,680. And that makes sense because we said the 50 minus the expense uh, brings it down. All right, so the next transaction, purchase business meals on account. So once again, we purchased something, but we, did we pay cash? No, we purchased it on account. Cash is not affected. So again, accounts payable is affected. Once again, we might want to think about what we got first. So we got meals and entertainment. We got, if we take a look at it, I'm going to take a look at my chart of account. Meals and entertainment looks like the best account to uh, record. And once again, all expenses have debit balances and they only go one way. They go up. Therefore, we're going to make it increase by doing the same thing to it, which is another debit. So I'm going to copy, not cut. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it in C14, paste it one, two, three in the debit side. Debits generally go on top for 1,500. And then I'm going to credit. I'm going to say negative. I'm using the left arrow now, left once, up once. So negative of that number. We'll take that number, flip the sign and be 1,005. Then the only question is, what should that account be? It's not going to be cash because we didn't pay cash. We put it on account. Once again, it's accounts payable. Now we know if it's going to be a debit or a credit. We know it's a credit because we debited meals and entertainment, the expense. Does that make sense? Well, this is a credit balance. We need to make it go up because we owe more money. How do we make something go up? We do the same thing to it as what it is. That's a credit. We're going to credit it again to increase it. So I'm going to copy that, paste it one, two, three there. Then we can post this out. So I'm going to go to meals and entertainment in H13 equals point to the 1005. That'll bring this balance up to 1005, put us out of balance, bring net income down. So notice net income goes down from that because it's the 50 minus the meals and minus the auto gives us the 48,180. That is income because the revenue is beating the expenses. And then we're going to post the other side. It's going to be to accounts payable. We're going to double click, go to the end of it. Plus, we're going to go to the payable here. That's a credit. This is a credit. It's going to bring this up to 1,820. 
So if we look at what's in there right now, we can say, hmm, what's in there? Well, 450 went up in the credit direction, then it went down to zero. Then it went up back up again, and then it went up again, and we're going to have to pay it pretty soon, and then it should go back down. So what happens to the accounting equation? Well, if I delete this, then we can see we're at 50. If I undo it, we're still at 50 because we paid a liability and an expense. Nothing happened to assets in this case. Uh, no, no effect. Then what happens to the liabilities? Well, if I delete it, I'm at 320. Undo it, it went up to uh, 1820, increased there. If this doesn't happen, nothing happens, this increase, then this must be going down. We could double check that. I'm going to delete this. We're at 49,680. Undo 48,180. Went down because expenses went up, bringing net income down, bringing total equity down, which is all of this. So then, last transaction paid for auto service, which was purchased on account in the past. So we, we put it on account up here, uh, up here, and then now we're paying for it. So it's cash affected. Yep, that's what we pay stuff with. Usually a check, but that's still going to be recorded as cash in these transactions. We can see that cash has a debit balance. We're going to make it go down by doing the opposite thing to it, which in this case would be a credit. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it on the bottom in C18. Right-click, paste it, one, two, three. Go in the credit column and put a negative uh, 320. So we're going to put it on the bottom of the E. Then we could go into the debit, say negative, down arrow once, left or right arrow once, want to take that number there and flip the sign by multiplying it times negative one which is basically represented by just putting a negative in front of it and that will give us a positive 320 then the only question is what should that account be and um, we paid cash and we, and we paid for the auto service but we already recorded the expense in the past we're not going to debit expense again we'd be doubling it up we're going to debit the payable the payable represents what we owe it needs to go down once we have paid it. So this has a credit balance. We need to make it go down. How do we make it go down? We do the opposite thing to it, which in this case would be a debit. So we already knew that because we credited cash. So we're going to copy that and see if it does what we think it should, which is decrease the liability. And so then we're going to post it so we can go to the H8, post in the accounts payable, double click, go to the end of it and plus point to that 320 and enter and it brings it down to the one five double click on cash go to the end of it plus point to the credit so that's a debit this is a credit it's going to bring us down here put us back in balance there enter so there we have that and if we look at what happened to the payable now all the way across this then uh it went you know up in the credit direction back down to zero up in the credit direction up in the credit direction back down to the only thing that has not yet been paid the 1005 here. So then uh, we can see what happens to our accounting equation. If we delete this, cash is at 50, undo, I mean, ca re assets are at 50, undo, it goes down to 49,680. Why? Because cash went down and cash is in the asset section here. So this is going to go down, decrease. And then what happens to liabilities? Well, if I delete this, it's at here, 1820 undo, 1500 decreases. So we're saying that goes down. If this decreased and that decreased at the same rate, then this needs to stay the same. We can double check that by saying it's at 48180 undo, still 48180. No effect on net income, even though we paid cash because we recorded the expense in the past in the date that we incurred it in order to help us generate revenue.